Hey, let's play and welcome back to more Smackdown vs. Raw Custom GMO, which boy here, the call me Storm in my Donkey Kong shirt. This is not recorded the same day, as you can tell. You might be able to tell because of the new setup. I can't remember if I had this setup last week or not, but beard shaved. Or trimmed. Anyways. So, uh, on the last episode, uh, <laughs> default, right? That's what happened, if I recall correctly. Became the new United States champion. If, uh, where's the champions? There we are. Yep, that was the case. So, uh, yeah, uh, the default train is uh, going on up, I guess. <laughs> Dumbest shit ever, but it happens. That's That rivalry's done with. Samuel Wrestling and Chick Magnet's still going strong for some reason. Young Duism Viking Loco, I think, uh, were feuding for the uh, Intercontinental. Uh, and then you have Doc and Bandbar uh, with the tag that's still going. So, Andrew Savage Mark's power is what we're going to work on mainly on this episode. Make sure there's nothing in free agency before we start. And uh, for those of you who are unaware, we are still quite behind in fan supports. Uh, but like I said, the women are gonna gonna help them out there. Survivor Series, I believe, is the next pay per view. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, well, Tabu Tuesday technically, but that already happened. So uh, St. Paul, Minnesota. We are going to have a triple threat main event. Is it possible to do triple threat uh, special referee match? It isn't, unfortunately. That would have been nice, but uh, yeah, we're going to do a triple threat main event um, to determine a new number one contender for the United States title, that is. So we're going to do Samuel Rasslin. We're going to do Chick Magnet. And we're going to do T Long. Whoever wins that will face uh, default at Survivor Series. Uh, match five will have Savage and Marcus Power. Let's do a backstage brawl between the two. Uh, parking lot brawl. Marcus Power. Savage. There we go. Just have it be that. Let's do a main event hype here. Do some advertising here because we need some money. Uh, we'll have default open the show. Why not? Singles match. No manager. Alexander. Actually, we'll have Alexander Storm be put into that cruiserweight feud, I think. Let's do default versus... We'll do Daddy Sling. Why not? That'll be our opener. Uh, secondary match, we'll have Doc versus... Man Bar. There we go. Okay, so that's good. That's good. Uh, match three is going to be a, another singles match. Let's do Vulcan versus Quest. And then match four is going to be a triple threat. Alexander Storm, Viking Loco, and Young Dwiz. There we go. Uh, no title on the line for now. We'll, if Alexander Storm wins, we'll put the title on the line next week. But for now, nothing. Just, just a match. So that's going to be our show. So let's see exactly what happens here. Default beats Daddy Slane, so he continues his role as a victory with a big victory over Daddy Slane. Uh, Manbar beats Doc. Quest beats Vulcan, so that's a big win for Quest. It's a former uh, normal contender for the World Heavyweight title right there that he beat. Alexander Storm wins in the triple threat match, so that's going to give him an opportunity to um, go against uh, Young DeWiz. Uh, Andrew Savage beats Marcus Power again in the backstage brawl, so he's continuing his momentum. And t -Lon beats Samuel Wrestling and Chick Maggot, so he's the new number one contender for the United States title. Uh, new champion over on Raw. We got uh, Vacant. Fan change to SmackDown. We had the better show. 210,000. Damn, that's a, that's a pretty good one. Expiring contract for the Pebble, but I bet they re sign him. New deal for Mark's Powers, we all know. Raw rating was a half a star. SmackDown rating was a half, uh, star and a half, so that's not bad. Uh, so let's go ahead and check the reports for last week. I want to see what we did. Half a star for the starter, half a uh, star and a half for Man Bar vs. Doc. That's pretty good. Half a star for Quest vs. Vulcan. Star for the triple threat match. Uh, Andrew Savage and Marcus Power had a three star match. And T Launch, Chick Magnet, Seven Wrestling had a two star match. Not bad. Uh, over on Raw, they didn't put. Well, this match was a zero. Okay, that explains why their show went downhill so fast. <laughs> and Vacant beat Azrael and Gigante. That's a big boy match <laughs> for the WWE Championship. So now uh, we eat a little bit closer with the fan support, which is nice to see for the pay review. Uh, two more shows left. I feel like here we'll probably do the Cruiserweight Championship match because I imagine Survivor Series is 
I think they have the. Let me check my email. Nothing. I think they have the tag team match. I'm not sure. I think there's like one match that's maybe an elimination chamber. It's something. There's some match in there that you have to throw everyone into. So I uh, might do that for the U.S. title and uh, have the cruiserweights uh, go against each other on the show before, and then have the tag team title be in the mix as well. I think that's probably the best bet uh, for the pay per view if we have enough matches. So we'll do a cruiserweight in Nashville, Tennessee. Or we could put the U.S. title on the line in Nashville, Tennessee. It's t hometown, technically, in a way. Uh, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we want to do. Uh, let's do a... Let me check my rivalries real quick before I do anything. Sam Wrestling, Chick Mag, still going strong. Might as well keep that feud going if it's going well, right? Young Division Viking Local going strong. Daddy Slane and Default is not one. We got to start a Daddy Slane versus t feud here tonight. So we'll just do a singles match between them. Uh, we'll start it with that. Start a singles match between Daddy or uh, t and Default. Who's a 21 in popularity already. Good for him. Uh, promo one, advertising promo. Promo two, we'll do a main event hype. Let's do a. Let's do a. What do I want to do here? Good question. A tag team. Let's have uh, Marcus Power and Samuel Wrestling face off against Savage and Chick Magnet. Why not? There we go. Match five, we're going to have a singles with manager. We're going to have Alexander Storm go against Young Dwiz with Viking Loco as his manager. Uh, match four, let's do a... That's a good question. What should we do here? Let's do a singles match. We'll do we do Vulcan Vulcan Quest could work again. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do Vulcan Quest again. Why not? Let those guys fight each other one more time. Who else was in a feud? Got to remember. Got Manbar and. Daddy, our Doc still going at it, so we'll put them together. Menbar and Doc. There we go. And then we have Little Squeep Tank, Greek Olive, Charlie Winston. Hmm. I guess we have to do singles matches. It's going to be a bit of a weak starter, but whatever. Let's do Daddy Slane versus. I'm not going to try to win some that feud's been beaten to death. Let's do Daddy Slane versus. Uh. Let's agree call this one popularity. Little Squeep, I guess. Yeah, why not? Okay, cool. That'll be our show. Default beats T Long, alright. But he still gets his number, he still gets his match, don't worry about it. Little Squeep versus Daddy Slane. Little Squeep wins that. Doc beats Manbar this time. Quest beats Vulcan. Uh Young Dwiz beats Alexander Storm with the help of Viking Loco. And Marcus Power and Sammy Wrestling beat Andrew Savage and Chick Magnet. Oh, new champion again. Can't buy a victory. Yeah, well he hasn't been on the show. So SmackDown we won again. This time thirty thousand, so that's good. Uh so they put the title back on the line of Gigante, who picked up the victory this time. Uh, still no email, which is weird. Usually you get an email by now. At least I, I feel like you do. Uh, although rivalry is going strong. The yeah, Andrews and Viking Locos going sour. That sucks. Uh, anyways, it will be him versus Alexander Storm in a match anyways tonight as our main event, I think. So um, let's check our current champions. Okay, we're good there. View roster. Just want to see if anyone's fatigued. No one's really fatigued. Um, everyone's happy? Yep. Okay, cool. So let's do, make sure there's no more free agency. Okay, good. Check the reports. One star, half a star, one and a half, half a star, one star, two and a half. Not bad. And they're Vigante. Vigante. <laughs> it's their tag team. Vigante. They can and Gigante. Uh, okay, so this is our go-home show before Survivor Series, which is the next uh, pay-per-view, which we'll watch next week. So we're going to watch a match here. 
Oh, it's going to be the main event. It's going to be for the uh, Cruiserweight title. So let's do a... What would be a good Cruiserweight title match? Hardcore. You know, I'd like to do the, the ladder match again, but the last time we did a ladder match, all they did was climb it and fall off every five seconds, right? So... Um... Fuck it. We'll do a ladder match. We'll see. We'll see what how it goes. Ladder match between Alexander Storm and Young Duez. Make sure this is a main event hype. I'll also do a pay per view hype on this one. Uh, match five here is going to be a. Let's do a fatal four way. Let's see Marcus Power. T Long. Defaults and Savage. Should uh, put some butts in the seats, hopefully. Uh, match four is going to be singles match. Quest of Vulcan. Been working, why not? Singles match, Chick Magnet versus Samuel Rasslin. Let's actually put, put a different stipulation on this. Let's do a hardcore match between the two. A bit of a blood feud going on right now between those two, so. Uh, Chick Magnets. And Mr. Samuel, where are you at? There you go. Boom. Uh, match two here is going to be a. Doc versus. Should also put a stipulation on this, too. Main event. Let's do. Let's do submission match. Why not? Doc versus Manbar. And match one, what do we have left overall here? The Viking local tank, a little sweep, Daddy Slain, Greek Olive, Charlie Winston. I guess we could do a six man battle royal or something. Um, ba -ba -ba. Battle royal, that's a backstage brawl. That's not what I want. There we go. Six man battle royal. And put the rest of the guys in here just to give them a match. There, everyone's booked now. Boom. All right, so let's see who wins this battle royal. Boosh. Simulate this match. The Greek Olive with a huge victory. Uh, zero popularity. Just picks up a huge victory right there. Manbar versus Doc. And the submission match. Manbar picks up the victory. Chick Magna versus Samuel Wrestling. The hardcore match. Chick Magna wins that. Vulcan versus Quest in another singles match. Quest again. Another victory. Coming up strong against Vulcan. A fatal four-way between the... The United States uh, champion, the number one contender for the United States champion, the world heavyweight champion, the one, another, one, another, yeah, number one contender for the world heavyweight championship. There we go. It was a mouthful. Uh, let's see who wins this one. Default with a huge victory. Oh my god, Default, you son of a bitch. Alexander Storm versus Young Duiz in the Cruiserweight Championship ladder match. Let's get into it. All right, so big time Cruiserweight Championship match as we got Alexander Storm looking to get this Cruiserweight title back around his waist. It's been a while since he's been in the Cruiserweight scene. He's been a uh, United States uh, champion recently. And uh, he's one of the best Cruiserweight champions we've ever had. I believe the Young Duiz might have been the guy that, who had defroned him, if I'm not mistaken, originally, uh, before he made his uh, journey over to the United States title picture scene. But now he's back, you know, wants, uh, wants that Cruiserweight title around his waist one more time. This is going to be his opportunity to shine in this ladder match main events for the Cruiserweight title. And here comes his opponent, who is the Cruiserweight Champion of the World. He's been holding on to this title for a while. Uh, his tag team partner, uh, Little Squeep, has uh, kind of faltered ever since they uh, split up. I guess you could say Little Squeep's the Marty Jannetty of that group. And Young Do is the Shawn Michaels with the Cruiserweight title around his waist. Looking to retain in another big ladder match victory. Question is, can he retain it? And it's a uh, big-time foe in Alexander Storm. Uh, this is the Go Home Show 2 Survivor Series, which you'll see next week. And this is our main event on SmackDown tonight. And here we go with the main event of the evening. Both men going to the outside of the ring to grab a ladder real quick. And it uh, looks like they're sizing each other up. Both getting back into the ring real quick with the ladder. And they're both setting them up, and they're both climbing. <laughs> here we go. Who's going to win the match? Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Holy shit, a drop kick connecting midair, taking Alexander Storm down on the ground, landing on the back of his head. Young Dwiz has the title. He's grabbing it. Alexander Storm might have broken his neck. He might be dead. And there's the match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's one hell of a main event of the evening. And still, your cruiserweight champion of the world, Young Dwiz. Was not expecting that. <laughs> I was expecting the, the latter thing as I'm climbing, but I was not expecting a, a, both men to jump at each other. Dwiz connecting with Dropkick, Alexander Storm breaking his goddamn neck on the fall, and Young Dwiz just winning like that. That was the main event. Five stars, for sure, right? <laughs> Oh man, I can't wait to see what that was rated by the fans. It'd be funny. It's still a champion. Okay, buried a live match. Oh, that's what it is in Survivor Series. Fan change SmackDown. Uh, 40,000. So we won again. So we're, we're in the, the hot seat right now. Just coming up. I wish they, I could wish I could sign this key. That would be great. Raw rating was one and a half stars. SmackDown rating was one and a half stars as well. Uh... So show, yeah, this is right it is. It's a buried live match and the winner takes uh, number 30 spot in the Royal Rumble. That's what it was. As I'll read uh, as we get into the next episode, I'll open that email and read it for you guys. But uh, let's check out the rivalries, see if anything's going on. Uh, Sound Wrestling versus Chick Magnet has gone sour, unfortunately. But it's fine. That was a blow off match right there. And uh, I think Chick Magnet won it, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, reports. Let's check out the SmackDown results. <laughs> Two and a half star match, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Two star match there. One uh, half star match there. Half, uh, one and a half, one and a half. And let's see what Raw did. Zero star to start. Their main event was a three star. Their women's matches. It's starting, it's starting to turn the tides, though. You know, we're catching up slowly but surely. If we could have a really good Survivor Series here, we could really take a dent out of them. So here's hoping that's the case. Uh, let's check for you. Nothing. Okay. So um, what was I going to do? I was going to do something. I can't remember what it was. Um, I was going to check my, uh, my roster and my popularities. Smarks Power, still the most popular. Young Dwiz, 53, catching up to everyone else. T-Long, 51. Alexander Storm with a 50. Doc with a 48. Uh, default jumping up to a 29. So in like two weeks, Default's gone from like a 0 to a 29. That's pretty impressive. Uh, Tank with 0. Degree Call of after winning his match, got up to a 3. So uh, good for him. Um, yeah, so that looks like it's going to do. Uh, might make a trade. I think we have to wait till next week, but I might uh, might ship off Charlie Winston and see if we can pick up some of the other guys off the other squad. But um, as of right now, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know, make sure to leave a like, and I'll catch you next week for Survivor Series. So until next time, here we go for life. Two, sweetie.